you can start another chapter in your life anytime. When I first moved here, I was, um, I was a freelance artist, but I also worked at um, Laurie Air Force Base. I also worked at several print shops, and I also worked at RTD. In 1987, um, I had two people approach me, Robert Stewart and Ron Steele. So the three of us did get together, and we mulled around and talked about some names. The urban spectrum that became the focus of the spectrum. We do stories that are often overlooked in the mainstream publications. That's basically the, the scope of the spectrum, just telling wonderful stories about um, the African-American community. I want to point out that we did start off the first, public, the first year, it focused on, it was multicultural. It was centered around women, uh, actually. Uh, it was Asian, Native American, Latino, and African American. To me, it was just like a job. You know, it was just like a job. I didn't see it where it would take me to this point, actually. Um, I just thought that it was just a purpose. It was just a, a time. It was a need to um, reach out and have this voice for people who did not have a voice. You know, it has afforded me the opportunity to allow other people in this arena to hone their skills, get experience, and, and if needed, you know, go to other publications if they moved out of town or um, you know, if they wanted to pursue their career in other areas. Believe in yourself, um, seize opportunities, um, and just go for it. You know, if you have a talent, you know, use it, you know, love life, you know, live it, and just be kind to people.